Hey everybody and welcome to Meta episode number 20. Wow, that is a lot of episodes so far and we're gonna keep going. On this episode, a very special one, we have Bunny returning, we have Liquid's Rhett, and then for the first time, finally, we do have Nanoa from Alliance. So, how are you guys all doing? This is this is gonna be a pretty fun show, right? This is the, like kind of the BlizzCon preview episode, and I just I knew we had to have Nanoa. I'm I'm excited about it. So I kind of intro the show funny, and no one is saying anything, so that's okay. <laughs> um, I want to just start right into the talk because you know we only get like an hour, an hour and a half to do this. And my first question is, what the hell is up with Deer? I've been waiting for Nanoa to explain it to me. How does this guy do it? Sulky beats everybody else, and Deer like four owed him. He slapped him down. Deer is playing so well. How does he do this? Please explain. And of course, uh, Rhett and Bunny, you guys can jump in as well. Yes, please, please, Rhett, come in and save me. Uh, I don't know everything about it, of course, because if I knew, then I would just play the exact same way and I would win as well. But what it just looks like to me is um, he reacts perfectly to everything he scouts. That's like step one. But also, he always opens the same way with like plus one really fast. And then he works in four salads, he macros really well, puts up a third like really standard. But the thing is like, he has this one timing for everything he can scout. Like when uh, Solky played the uh, Mutalisk, he was like right there with a uh, pylon, blink stalkers. And then when he played like uh, Hydralisk, he had like Colossus on the way, Warp Prism in the main. So it just seems like he has the right choice for like everything he plays against. Mm. It's really hard to identify what you're going up against like that fast as he, he does as a Protoss. So I think scouting is his big point. Oh, yeah, I, he, I, I like that. It, it felt like uh, the other Protoss, like Oz and Trap, were scared of Sulky. And Deer just wasn't. Like It's kind of strange that Sulky would just uh, trio, trio uh, Oz and Trap and then lose 4 0 to Deer. Like, it's just how Starcraft works. Like, I felt like Deer just wasn't scared and just played his own builds and just dominated him. And Oz and Trap were kind of like, oh my god, it's Sulky. Like, I'm going to have to do something special to beat him. And then it just didn't work. Mm, I don't know. I think Deer, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Trap and Oz are kind of like me in a sense. We all have very unique build orders. Like, Deer doesn't have anything unique. He just plays really, really good. Plays everything. Yeah, yeah. so like, uh, he's good with all his builds, but also me, like, we have a lot of builds that rely on, like, surprises. So it's very easy to uh, uh, get a bad start in a series and then yeah, it keeps on going. If your solid play is not good enough, then you can't really win, right? If your mind game fails. Mm. That's that's actually something that I struggled with commentating Deer throughout the last WCS Korea season, is that every every Protoss I can describe in some way, you know, the, the, their play style, like Rain, the, the safe macro player, or Parting, you know, he's got great build orders and execution, or every Protoss has these things, and then Deer, I'm like, I don't even know what to say about him. He'll do anything and always make it work. I just, it's, it, does this make him the best Protoss in the world? Is right now, best? right now he's the best. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Well, I I guess that's not what I mean though. Like, is yes, it just no did he have a couple good runs? Is par can we still say that Party and Rain are at this guy's level, or is this guy just like a whole new? Has he ascended? He's he's Super Saiyan Protoss level <laughs> four now or something. I feel like Party and Rain are probably as good or better in like the tenor situation, but Deer just really understands the huge variety of builds that the Protoss race has and is able to execute all of them. Whereas Rain and Parting are often stuck into like a mindset where they play only one to three builds, I feel like, and that makes them more predictable and easier to play against. Whereas Deer can pretty much do anything. That's what I feel. I don't, I don't know. Not anyone might be a more, have more expert opinion about this. <laughs> no, no, no. You're I feel doing like his uh, multitasking is also really, really good. Compared mm. to everyone else, like he uses War Prisms really well, and that series versus Maro, he just defended the drop so well. Stuff like that. Yeah, in in fact, his that's I have to say that as well. The Deer's War Prisms 
hit exactly at the right time. Sometimes you see someone that's very good with War Prisms, but it's like a few seconds off when it should be going in, and I feel like his is always hitting at the peak of the Zerg multitasking, uh, where, like, it's just, it's going to be the absolute hardest for Zerg to do anything. Like, I've never seen anyone get as many hatcheries with their first War Prism as Deer. It's, it's madness. But, uh, okay, so... What about what about that series against Maru and his PBT in general, Bunny? What do you think about that? Because he's playing against Tasia at BlizzCon, and Tasia has the best late game TVP I've ever seen. So, like, what is it about Deer's PBT that's so strong? Mm, well, he kind of plays a little bit different from everyone else. I'd say that now people have started copying him a bit. He does the uh, fast gateway uh, stalker. Yeah, so let's talk about Mothership Core Pressure a lot. Yeah, at least he did with the Smaro, and he also uses War Prisms for stuff like uh, Storm Drops. And Smaro and Tejia plays very differently, I'd say. Tejia, he kind of defends a little bit more, plays with more Ghosts, and Smaro is just like crazy aggressive with Marine Marauder. So I think Deer's strengths might be better for being matched up against Smaro. Um, than Tejia, who is just like more defensive and wants to play the longer game. Mm. But Deer is still so extremely good, so it's hard to say. Yeah, Maro against Deer was kind of weird. Like, Maro just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping until he kind of killed himself. Like, he lost all his units because he was dropping and then he just got overrun. And I'm not sure that style works. Like, I think it's better to just focus on going late game Ghost Viking and optimizing that micro in TVP and winning that way. I think Teja is very good at that, so I think Teja against Deer is going to be very, very close, actually. It's very dangerous for Deer, uh, first round matchup. I, I think Teja is actually the best in the world at Ghost Viking play late game TVP. Some I've Europeans might say it's going to be happy. <laughs> that's that's true. I'm, there's a lot of Europeans that would say it's happy, but they haven't played much on the What do you think, ever. Naniwa? You played <laughs> against happy a bunch, I guess. Uh, I think he's really good, but he doesn't have any, um, how to call it, timing sense. Like, he just sits in his base and makes Ghost Viking, and then he waits the entire game. <laughs> but then when like, he does get that, he's like, like really good at it. And I make carriers, and I win. <laughs> but, Wait, you make uh, carriers against Ghost Viking? Yeah, it beats it. Hard. Really? Why not Tempest? Why haven't I seen this? What? Tempest, <laughs> they get owned by PDD. Hmm. Truth well, I would okay. I would love to see uh, that actually. If you if you don't mind sending me some replays, I'd like to look at them. Uh, um, either way, I think Maru. They, there are like three different Terran styles. I feel like either you attack and then you transition it to Ghost and Viking, or you just defend like Happy, like double eBay, a lot of command centers, or you do like Marine King Prime or Maru style, which is just like you drop and you just your defense is your attack. Like, uh, if your drops get shut down really hard, you lose the game straight away. Um, I don't think the style is bad, I just think it's very fragile. Like, mm. I have seen it work a lot of times, and he did win an OSL against Rain, so it's not like it's bad. It's, it's just there, very... it's just very, very solid, like, way too sol solid. Mm. It's way better of us as Templar too, because you just keep making better with with Star Viking, so it's a lot easier to drop. Yeah, I think it's good against Templar for sure. Hmm. Well, the the for the BlizzCon bracket, let me just link you guys to it, because while we're on this this topic no. of deer, and we've we've mentioned about the uh, deer versus Tasia, and that who who's the favorite in deer versus Tasia? First off. Deer. Deer. He's super cool. Yeah. I don't think I, you're I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Tejas gonna win that match. Is that just, because you're on Team Liquid and he's on Team Liquid and it's gonna do that? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> I just feel like Tejas like Tejas not gonna freak out. He's not gonna like be like, Oh my god, I'm gonna have to attack. He's just gonna be patient and solid and I feel like he's they're both very good. Like they're both very solid and I think Tejas is gonna win the match. Okay. What about you, I don't buddy? know. I have played against Teja, to be honest, and I don't think that's true, what you're saying. I think he's very, very aggressive, Joss. I don't think you're I, right. 
I just I just have a feeling like liquid's gonna win a feeling. Like, okay. what, are you, what are you gonna do? It's just true. <laughs> well, I guess I can't do anything. You could do something, like you could beat Soul Key and then you could beat um Oh about that, MMA, yes, yes. And then you I'll could try beat... my best. Who who else is gonna be there? Sauce, I guess. Yes. If I do win my first game, I have a chance, I think. I don't know if it's if it's me or like somehow all these people in BlizzCon, even though they're obviously the best in the world, they all seem to have weaknesses. Except for you, of course. No, I have tons of weaknesses. But <laughs> well, like, that's, he's not at BlizzCon, so I guess. Oh, well, <laughs> of course, of course. Like, so, what's Sulky's weakness? What the hell are you talking about? He has Sol no Keith's weakness. Weak he has his weakness is Protoss. He yeah. wins too much. His, yeah, that's his weakness, is that he, he wins all of his matches. What did he win? Year. What did he win since Season 1 Finals? The only yeah. things he's lost was Poor like Sol a Keith. ZVZ best of five, and against Innovation, when Innovation was unbeatable, and then against Deer in this. That's like all he's lost forever, right? Like he's got Naniwa Revival. Obviously going to be Naniwa. What? <laughs> <laughs> And then he's got like bomber, and MMA, and, like bomber and MMA. Like MMA, I think MMA looks impressive recently. So I think it's going to be MMA. You think MMA will beat Sulky? I think MMA has has been better than Bomber, so I think MMA is going to beat Bomber. Oh, okay. And I think MMA against Sulky or Naniwa is going to be a very good match. Like MMA, MMA has just look, been looking solid. He's kind of been like the deer of Terran, in my opinion. He's just like good at everything. He's been playing really well. Think it's funny. Would you agree with that? Mm. Well, uh, personally, I think Maru might be the best Terran. Like, he's making the deepest runs and everything in the WCS Korea and the season finals as well. And he won with the MMA like three one pretty convincingly. And he is also always on top of the ladder at in Korea. So, yeah, I really like his play. It's hard to say how good Bumper is right now because he forfeited the Challenger League in Korea. So it's kind of hard to say, but MMA is really, really good. Sure, definitely one of the best turns. Nanoa, who would you rather face out of those two, Bomber or MMA, if you beat Sulky and Revival? Well, I'm obviously not thinking that far ahead. But, uh, <laughs> who would you though? Now that I'm putting you on the point, like, MMA or Bomber? Yeah, if you got to choose sure, right now, no doubt. MMA. Yeah. Are you afraid of Dash Pools? No, I'm not afraid of it, but I'd rather not face it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you play Bomber, it's going to be SCV pools every game. Like, yeah. That's fine. I like to defend. You as well just open Storm. That's almost <coughs> deadly. No. But MMA, I beat him 2-0 in WCS, even though it was a while ago. So I don't have any like problems with confidence against him, at least. Bomber, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I think Red is about right, though. It'll be SCV pools. If I if I were you, if I could give you advice, if you hit Bomber in that round, open up with one Colossus into Psystorm fucking immediately, and you might just you might just do it and kill him. Okay, uh, I'm going to do it. And then if I lose Artosis, it's all on you. <laughs> well, I'll probably be commentating the match. I'll be like, oh, he did it wrong. The, the, the oh, storm was God. too slow. Look at those missed storms. He only killed like 30 SCVs with those storms. Of course he was going to die to the bio. Only three days to be. Let's hope cool. Bomber is not watching this show. Who do you guys think is gonna win BlizzCon, though? Like, if you look at this bracket, like, who's gonna actually be the champion? Is is it gonna be Deer Nanawa? Is he good enough? Know. Of course, he's good enough. He won Korea and the WSS. Uh, I, I think finals. it might be innovation. Innovation. It's my bet. I don't think so. You think so? I don't think he's good enough. He's got Duck Duck, which is like an easy win. That guy is only good at Alden and Zergs. And Protoss. And Protoss. And Terran. Yes. And then like Maro <laughs> Maro or MC, I think Innovation's gonna beat them both. And then it's gonna be well, innovation against Deer would be hard. Innovation against Teja. I think innovation's got it. Hmm. And then Nani won the finals. Let's oh, hope. Yes. Nowadays is innovation. Yeah. Naniwa in the finals. Naniwa has two out innovation before. It wasn't very hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I I want to go out and say uh, if MVP because MVP and Alive have to play like a placement match, right? Is that what this is? Is that the same as like Naniwa and Revival? No. They're no, they're both in. in. So it's like fucked up. 
What is that? So, oh. uh, yeah, I think they have to play like some sort of match where they have to one play of them gets. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Exactly. If I feel like if MVP faces off against Holt there, there's a decent chance MVP is just going to hit top four here, like just really? go right up to it. Yeah, because like he's been pretty quiet lately, but. The guy knows how to win his money, he knows how to play these sets out, and he knows how to be on the stage and everything. And, like, MVP versus Polt, if you look at their history, Polt <laughs> cannot fucking beat MVP to save his life. Yeah, and, I can remember that from GSL, yeah. where it's like, MVP always beats Polt, and Polt always beats MMA, MMA always beats MVP. Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas you put him against, like, Jadong and then Deer or Tej, I'm like, oh, bye, MVP. Yeah, <laughs> like, against Jadong is going to be, like, not pretty. Yeah. It's better if a live face is Jadong. For sure. And then it's it's always good for Jadong to go far. Speaking of which, where are all the Zergs at, Yos? Um I don't know. Where are they? Where where's Symbol? Like who are the Queen Zergs that are missing? Uh it would be Symbol, Life, and I guess Sue came really close. Kong Ho came close and Roro came close. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's kinda hard for Zergs. At the moment. Why is it? Why is that? Uh, there's a lot of... It's hard to be consistent as Zerk. There's just so many so many builds and so many variety thrown against you. I think it's hard to be consistent and overcome everything. Yeah. Do you agree, Nanoa? <laughs> I see the smile. <laughs> I mean, Nan Nanoa just all in me twice the last two games. So Nanoa knows. I know what. <laughs> That you know, don't scout. You know, yes, you know, I, I, I know, know you. When I make 55 drones against your immortal Alden and I still lose. That's how it's uh, supposed to be. Because of force fields. <laughs> how what else am I, am I supposed to win, man? How many drones is he supposed to make to hold that? Then? How many drones should I make? 45 drones. 45? <laughs> man. <laughs> how many drones should I really, really, realistically make to hold an immortal Alden? Enough so you don't die. Between 50 and 55, right? And that's what I do and I still lose because of force fields. I don't know. Maybe you should run into the force fields then. Maybe yeah. you should avoid them. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> run around. Sounds simple to me. <laughs> I, right? You don't like the infester? Like bring back Wings of Liberty infester and Zerk will do fine. Yes. But like that, right that, now, that, that we, we put a fungal. Right, no. It's like half the time we miss the fungal. And it's just, it's just not the same. It's just yeah. hard. <laughs> It so yeah, hard. it was easier in Wings of Liberty. It was easier in Wings of Liberty, yeah. I agree. Yeah, wings back. <laughs> and everyone's okay yeah, with it. Because in Wings of Liberty, everyone's like, well, Wings of Liberty, Zerg dominated, so it's okay. It's harder to swarm. Like, it's okay if Zerg loses. It's okay because they have Wings of Liberty. But you're still in, but what's it? I'm just, I'm just waiting for Legacy of the Void when everyone's okay, like... Okay, Joss, I'm going Zerg to say what swarm. game do you hear. So Zerg should be fair again. <laughs> do you remember one prodigy of the name Fire Cake? <laughs> <laughs> there was once upon a WCS, there was a fire cake. And yeah, a fire cake played a three hour game against Mana, but. And he had 20 APM, and he if rolled he him. If he was in Mana's position, he would have lost that game. If you what? If you were in Mana's position, uh, would you have lost that game? How should I know? I was not. Like he, he just kept attacking into but it. He it did, did look extremely imbalanced, Yos. This we can agree on. Maybe. Yeah, it's because he didn't two base all in. It reminded me a lot of Broodlord Infester without having to attack. He shouldn't have taken a third base. It's like the biggest mistake that portals can make. Yeah, like so you're saying we have to all in to have a chance? or It's like they put down a third nexus. It's like, oh my god, why did they put down a third nexus? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the fake, obviously. Cancel. <laughs> wow. Red, such a whiner. That's how it is. Like, you, you two base all in. Two base all in should be your standard. And then you three base as a surprise. Uh, like, so like, that's why you lose to Huck. I made two. <laughs> <laughs> well, Huck makes immortals and archons and Amos. Yes. And you lose to it every time. That's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, it's true. That's I don't know what speechless. to say. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you a couple of days ago that I don't get why I lose to Huck because he just makes immortals and archons. I was because I was you like, don't scout, you just drone every game. What unit? What unit should I make? Roaches. I guess everything. I can't wait for the speed roach patch. It's be like force fields. Screw you. I'm burrowing and I'm going. 
under your force fields and like you're gonna die. Yeah. Can't wait for that patch. Evil. But then again, Terran Mac is gonna be a pain. Oh right, right. I really hope they don't do that tank thing change. I hope so too. The tank change is good, right? It's like imbalanced. Uh every game, like almost every game in Europe is in T V T is make anyway and it's so boring, so I hope they don't go yeah. through with it. It's gonna happen though, like it's gonna be all Mac. It's gonna be really boring for like five months. Everyone's gonna play Dota 2 and League of Legends. That sounds kind of awesome. Yeah. To be WCS winner is <laughs> going to be Goody. Goody gonna win. It might you, be. you will see. Dude, it's the return of Strelok is what's gonna happen. Strelok is just gonna fucking reign supreme over Europe. <laughs> Strelok. I played Strelok in the like M MLG Balan XMG Balance Test Tournament. Mm -hmm. And he played Mac twice, and I like. I had the feeling like I was playing pretty good counters against it, but then just tanks just own me because of the new change. Like it's it's two point it's three point zero to two point seven, right? Fire rate it makes a big wait, difference. Wait, wait, what's the change? I thought it was like two point seven to three. Yeah, yeah, the the yeah. tank uh, fire 10 range. Ten percent or something. Right? The fire it's, rate. It's a pretty pretty big deal. Like I had some. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like ten percent increase that, or something. That's so normally be. Tank Thor, but then he just killed me. But Mech right That's now so is really, really bad against Zerg, I think. Yeah, I think Mech is extremely lame and boring. <laughs> but That's not like the same thing as bad, though. No, no. But it's like, you just... The Terran just gets tanks and sieges, and then takes four bases and makes a bunch of PFs, and then it gets 30 Ravens. And then you have, like, this one-hour game where the there's just, like, hunter-seeker missiles and PDDs and really slow battles and no multitasking and no action and it's just it's not interesting to watch you make me want to switch back to Terran you gotta you calm should this have. down you should just stick to Terran <laughs> no, when you went when you went Protoss like I know they seem really strong but you should have stick to Terran <laughs> oh well I did that long enough um so wait Bunny you think that Mech isn't very good against Sir? Mm. well I haven't actually tried it that much because, like, I've just been scared away from it the few times I've tried. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, like, no tough turns going mech against Zerg except for maybe Flash or MVP. Happy. Happy's but, going to mech. Yeah, happy sometimes, I guess. But, mm. yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's as good as Bio, and I don't think it's a really solid way to play. Like, it has a, like, can lose to a lot of weird things. Like something, oh, someone like went roaches and then he was hiding his mutilisk until he had a ton and you didn't have enough for or something. Or like swarm host drops like Tilo or whatever. <laughs> swarm host <laughs> drops. If that's what you're worried about with mech, man. No, I mean, no, I'm so just close. saying there's so much <laughs> weird stuff like you can lose to when you're playing mech. Like, I think that's just about playing mech all the time. And then you will realize like what you should be worried about and scouting and. All that stuff. I think I mean, Mac. It takes a lot of games to get good. With I, if this patch goes through, Mac is going to be the best style, and it's going to make every ZVT like one hour long. Because like, if you're Zerg, and you want to attack and have fun, that's like a weakness. Like you should be like Fire Cake, and you, you like don't want to have any fun. You just want to have Swarm Host and like have a three-hour game. Like that's like actually the best style to play. Yeah, I think it's the best way to play against Mac. Just like Swarm Host Turtle. Yeah, you just go for a three-hour game. You just sit there. You like don't do anything. Have a have have a meal, have a drink, <laughs> just wait, wait, and wait, and that, I think that's bad for the game. It's annoying because I think TVC is really good right now. But bio, it's really fun. Like it's really intensive and it's really yeah, like it's multitask really cool and APM and like the guy with the the fastest hands usually wins. But like when it's mech, it's just it becomes like ZVP. It's boring. Well, I've, I've heard a lot of people what? say that they don't really like the constant just marine, marauder, mine, medevac, like rally type of style in TVZ. That it's kind of like boring and, you know, the the Zerg gets up to their 76 drones and the Terran rallies in and then we just get to see who gets the better splash damage. Do you disagree with that? You're just like a complete fan of that style? You don't think it should be changed up at all? Well, TVC is already changing a lot, I think, on its own because the free command center stuff is getting less popular now that Zerg's finding out how to deal with it better. Like getting more drones and like they know when you push out at like 10.30 with your two medevacs. So if they're just prepared for that, 
they can just have like really good creep threat. So Terrans are mixing it up more with like the pull build with two Rex and two Medivax really quickly and a Viking. Or Banshee builds are getting really popular again. So I think TVC was kind of stale for a while, but right now it's pretty diverse and really fun to play. Okay. I, I think that, ra that rally point style, even though it's kind of boring, it still makes for more interesting games than, it, than like Mac. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's still all about multitasking. Like you can have counter attacks that change the game, or you can have. Uh, you know, you can intercept a rally point with meters and links. Uh, creep threat really matters. Like, it's it's kind of interesting, I feel, still. It's not really boring. But, like, mech is all about sitting and, like, swarm host. Just, like, it's not as APM intensive as bio games. I'd also okay. say that TVC games are getting longer in general. Like, they used to be a little bit shorter with the rally push. It would usually just win or fall flat on its face, but now Terrence are, like, getting better at establishing a fourth, ba fourth base and playing longer games. Like, I found my TVCs to go on much longer than like a few months ago, at least. Okay. So, TVZ still kind of morphing, but actually, here's a quick little question. Uh, Nanowal, what do you think about TVP right now, and you as well, Bunny? Like, is that a little bit stale? Uh, like. I was actually talking with Harstam somewhat recently about the state of PBT where, like, you always know what happened. You don't really have to look at the replay. You're like, oh, here's where I screwed up. This was very obvious, you know, like, do you know what I mean? It's, it, you kind of always know what's happening in the game. Do you agree? Mm, well, I don't think it's that stale, at least not for Protoss. Like, there's a lot of Protoss mixing up their builds after the year. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing, like, the Oracle stuff and... Uh, the first mothership core pressure, stuff like that. Um, but for Terran, I feel that it's a bit stale. Like it's hard to do aggressive builds with the mothership core. Usually, you just go Reaper into uh, free racks, get your stim, combat shield, medivacs, push out mm. at like ten minutes. Mm. But so is TVP a bit stale though? You know, that's you don't. It doesn't seem like there's that many options in TVP at the moment. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Like for Terran, it's probably the most stale matchup, is what I can say. Okay, what do you think, Nanoa? Uh, I think uh, it's pretty obvious what's happening when you play the game. Like they go bio, and you have to scout for like one eBay, two eBay, three CC, two CC, Ghost Academy and stuff like this. So it's always like kind of the same, uh, how do you say, frame. Like you always follow the same patterns. And then you, like you want to sell a Tarasi third base, you want to storm drop his SCVs. And then eventually you get into Colossus and Storm. If you survive, you usually win. So. Well, did, you, did you guys see that uh, Genius game against MMA on Belshire? The Wide Ray all in thing? Do no, no, no. Double Forge. Oh. Like four colosses, mass. It was kind of a long game, right? It was like the one oh, macro game that Genius MC played. Versus. It was the game where a Genius just went double forge all in at two two upgrades without storm, oh. just mass colosses all in. MMA had bigger supply and still lost. Hmm. Did, Did you guys see that game? No, no, you should watch that game. Like I only watch Genius when it makes void rail ins. Otherwise, I'm not <laughs> interested. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Genius only makes all in. Like, so you're telling me that Genius did a build that wasn't a Void Ray all in? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't you sound like Genius. Should watch that game because I feel like MMA played perfect, but Genius just made a sick timing and still lost. But on Derelict Watcher, though, we can talk about that game. Too. He made a proxy Stargate on MMA's third, and uh, then he made Void Rays. It. It got <laughs> and then he all in with Void Rays anyway. <laughs> And then he won base anyways. What about MC against Torzain on Echelon? That game was funny. Uh, oh, that was a horrible game. Should have had that Shint Bunkers in his main too. That was such a stupid game. I can't believe that MC won that game. That game it should so have been silly. impossible. Like, yeah. He held the attack once yeah. and then like he didn't make any more bunkers. And he's like, well, if I just stand here with my SCVs for 20 minutes, he can't kill me, right? <laughs> 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 like, didn't make any sense to me. 
if he just got like Medivax, it would have been game over. Well, that's Silly like parents. that's part of playing against MC, I think, man. He just like he scares you into doing stupid shit because he's won so much. I don't know, man. Well, he beats Hulky somehow. Yeah, that was really nice. I don't know how he did it, but he played very well, I think. You don't really expect Protoss to like stay on one base for 10 minutes and get blink off of like, <laughs> Stargate all in, so... Yeah. <laughs> I can see why oracles. <laughs> but you can't really transition into an uh, expansion anyway. Mm. Since you lost then as well. Might as well keep the all-in going. <laughs> keep going, yeah, well, man. Work for him, so. If the blink hadn't worked, would he have gone into Colossus Tech? That's my No, I, I think he would have made like double expand into D DTs. Double expand three forge, get those upgrades catching up. Like <laughs> and a DT shrine, of course. Of course. Of course. One behind always. Always oh. dark shrine. <laughs> Even when ahead. Uh, it, you know, speaking of MC, he has he did play really well there, despite you know he lost a deer, but deer's PvP is like really really solid. Uh, does MC have any chances here in this tournament? Because Maru is kind of like a really aggressive. Terran, obviously, uh, like really, really aggressive. And the thing is, when aggression hits aggression, it doesn't always go to like the be like the overall best player because I think Maru is a better player overall than MC right now. But I don't know. I look at that and I say MC has a chance here. Does he? Does he have a chance to actually get far in BlizzCon? I don't think he'll get far, but it's kind of hard to count MC out. Like. He always like shows up, and sometimes he just has these really well prepared builds and just executes people with sick timings. But mm. I think Maru is like insanely good, probably the best Terran in my opinion. So uh, it's gonna be hard for MC to win. Yeah, I think Maru's gonna beat him. I think MC is either Maru's gonna beat him or Innovation is gonna beat him. If Doc Doc somehow beats Innovation and MC beats Maru, then MC could beat Doc Doc. But Innovation and Maru should win those rounds, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think most people probably agree with that, but it is $100,000 for first place, so if it's an MC MVP <laughs> finals, I wouldn't be too, too surprised. Those guys really know how to win money. <laughs> that's crazy, yeah. What, first place is 100000 That's That's a lot. Not anyway, anyway, you should be practicing right now. Why the, why the hell are you in Metis right now? <laughs> you should be practicing that's $100,000 first place, come on. I'm trying to have discussions here so I can learn about the game, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah, in fact, Rhett, you should be talking more, yeah. man. He's playing against Revival in that match. So By that, the way, is that, that's a I'm, best of five, yeah? I'm not worried about Naniwa against Revival. Know. Naniwa's got that. As long as he... Like he really? If yeah, Naniwa doesn't right. make the mistake I, of I, taking a third base... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I will keep that in mind so I don't make that crucial mistake on the spot. Yeah, if he takes the third Nexus, he might have a hard time, but if he sticks uh, to two Nexuses, next eye, he's going to be fine. I am quite a good all-inner. All but again, Sulky, Sulky is going to be really close. What, what do you think, Naniwa? Are you going to beat Sulky in Revival? Uh, you can never know until you play them, so... I don't really think about the same things you do. Like, I never go into a match thinking that I'm going to win. I just think about my builds and what I'm supposed to do, and I just do it. But you're not Ho gonna. Hopefully, I win, though. You're not gonna make a third nexus, right? Yeah, the thought crossed my mind, but I think it's only gonna gonna be a fake if I make. <laughs> like a cancel, or you just like, like a cancel, yeah, a cancel, cancel yeah, the third nexus? Cancel, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. I hope they don't watch the show. <laughs> Cancel the third Nexus, make three more Zelots and go. Sick as yeah. strat. Or two Stalkers <laughs> or something like that. That's, yeah, no, I guess that's true. Sounds yeah. pretty good to me. All sorts of things. Uh, if he has Roaches, those Stalkers are going to be better than the three Zelots. <laughs> Optimizing that money. Uh, oh, man. That's, that's going to yeah. be so much fun. I can't wait to see if you actually... You're actually playing the day before in the Blizzard yeah. offices. If, I, if I'm correct here... Uh, does that bug you at all? Like you're I pretty good on stage, right? Oh, uh, I don't. I, know. I read that on Reddit, so I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't know anything as, as well. They didn't speak to me yet, so I don't know anything about BlizzCon at all. So, did, did well, it's, anyone... it kind of sucks that it's not on a stage because I think I'm better than most at like handling my nerves on yeah. big stage and so on. So, 
Did anyone it's give you an explanation about why a revival got invited to I Am New York? Well, you don't need an explanation when that EG money is in your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, Says like, Alliance Nano off! <laughs> 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 who, Since who the didn't part of EG, it's okay for me to joke about it. 4GG didn't go, right? Yes. And yes, Poe, right? 4GG and Poe didn't go, and somehow Revival got invited. Why? I'm not Diam admin. I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> I mean, is this really that weird, right? He's got a lot yeah, of it is, points. Because 4GG won the won. European qualifier. 4GG won the European qualifier, and like Grubby and Nurcio got like third and fourth. Yeah, they wanted to go. And then out of nowhere, they wanted to go there, and out of nowhere, Revival got invited. Revival right. got points at I Am New York, and now Revival is tied with Naniwa. What's up, up with that? Our okay, so hold on. I, I will explain, actually, because I think this actually makes sense to me. First off, I know that I Am does seeds. For the top four players that register in the WCS standings, I believe, get get invited. Whoever, for whoever wants to go, like the top four point guys in WCS overall get to go to IM, I believe. But they and were also, already invited. Didn't, didn't Revival win Shanghai? If but I they were correctly? already invited, like SOS, Flash, he did. But like Hero, and Grubby guy and Nurcio got third Flash and fourth. In the same qualifier, 4GG canceled. Oh, wait. So, so didn't they be next canceled? in line? And the spot was taken away from the Europeans? Yes. yes. And, and oh, okay. I don't know. About that. Nowhere because he's like highest in WCS points. But like the European qualifier participant canceled so the Europeans representatives should go, like Grubby or Nurcho. All right, I got I got clarification from Claris. Uh, the position wasn't paid. And I it looks like Grubby and Nurcho turned down non paid spots. And it wasn't paid because uh, they couldn't refund 4GG's trip after it was already paid for. So, that's... There you go. And that EG money, man, it filled right in and <laughs> sent someone there. EG, man. That EG money. Ruining just, e Alliance is so much time. different, right? Yes. Well, Alliance is legit, man. They're, we have a different is, name, they're a scrappy upstart team, you know? We are. Alliance, Alliance has nothing to do with Alex Garfield <laughs> at all. Yes. We only, like, live on our results. And our they have their team doing well. Completely unique jack. I money, right? That one million dollars. Right, right. Totally different sponsors. Stuff. Totally different totally sponsors. We might get some of the EJ sponsors in the future, though. We might. <laughs> That's a possibility. Those sponsors it's are a possibility. really and they sponsor a lot of stuff. So yes, love esports, I guess. But Alliance doesn't <laughs> have in control. What? Mm -hmm. Alliance doesn't have in control. Yes, we were lucky. Not That's right. This... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Exposure. Oh, right. Exposure, exposure. Well, the thing is, there's no Swedish version of In Control, right? So Targa is not Swedish, so we can't recruit him. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Wow. Shots fired. Um, yeah. yeah. No. Tar Targa is nice. No, I actually really like Targa. Targa is cool. It's really fun. Um, okay, so hold on, hold on. We were talking about BlizzCon before. All right. Let's jump back there for a minute because someone asked who everyone thinks is going to win and everyone just kind of, the talk to generate is something else. I don't think we actually got proper predictions. Who do you guys actually think is going to tear through this tournament? And who, like from each side of the bracket, who ends up getting the furthest? I think for the upper part of the bracket, yeah. sorry not anyone, but I think Tread it's going to be so <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Naniwa can do it too. Like he is really good, I think. I am really good. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think Soki is the favorite there. And for the lower part, I want to say Amaro just because he's my favorite player, and I think he is the best Terran. So I hope he can go far. I I think it's gonna be innovation. Uh, over Deer in the semifinals because it'll be close, but I think it's going to be Innovation. But and Mara beat Innovation 4 0 in OSL. Yeah, but it was like all like one base all ins. <laughs> Still a win, right? Yeah, could, yeah, yeah. it could be. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's not going to happen again. Like Innovation hasn't been to any tournaments in the last couple months. He's just been practicing the ladder and been at home and with a peace of mind, and he's just been getting better. I feel like Innovation is going to really destroy this part of the bracket. Uh, probably in the semifinals against Jadong. 
And then the top, I think it's going to be either Sulky or Naniwa, whoever wins that match. match. I think it's going to be Sulky, but who knows? <laughs> oh, so much like, pressure Nan on my I'm shoulders Naniwa's, now. Naniwa's like, going to take too many third nexuses. And it's just not no, gonna you work. have to stop that, Joe. Just say I'm going to lose so I don't have to worry about it. It's going to be 3-2, uh. and in the final game, Naniwa is going to proxy gate like he did against Hyun. Oh, and Jadong. Oh, and will actually, Jadong. Well, actually, 15 pool and hold it. And uh, Nesty as well. They all suffered through the <laughs> proxy gate. It's <laughs> a good strat, man. <laughs> three proxy gate, three wins. Seriously. No, that's actually... Are you going to use 40 expand in these matches? No, Yos. Never. Okay. Why are you talking about our practice games? <laughs> I don't nope. think you have to worry. I, I personally guarantee that none of these Koreans are listening to yeah, uh, yeah. now. Uh, Nor will they watch the VODs. So. Yes, yo, so you should practice with me and stop dodging. <laughs> You're the worst. You just spam me on Facebook every day. So, like, so play with me then. So I and if I answer in 30 minutes, you're like, why the fuck don't you answer? Like, Yeah, you have to play with me. We have no time, man. That's you right, you'll probably Europe. fly out really soon. I will play with you today, after the show. For Europe, Yos. For Europe. I know. I love Europe. I will help Europe. you. <laughs> right. Yes, my prediction. Let's do this. Do it. Oh. Okay. MVP is going to be Jadong. And MVP is going to win it. And then Deir is going to beat MVP. Mauro is going to beat MC. Innovation is going to beat Duck Duck. Hmm. Mauro beats Duck Duck. And Mauro beats Deer. Yes. Yes. Mauro in the finals? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, I think I think it's very possible. No way. It's when possible. I saw him against Deer, he he seemed pretty good. Like he was on par for sure. And I don't think Deer is the kind of guy who just like switch his style straight away against Terran, especially. So I think he can, can adapt now. And in the top, well, this is kind of hard to predict. <laughs> Let's leave that the top part. <laughs> <laughs> Bomber against e MMA. Uh, I think Bomber is going to win it. Because I know how much he plays in practice, and uh, he even forfeited the GSL, right? So, he's going to be very well prepared, no doubt. SOS is going to beat he Hero, and SOS will beat um, Polt, or Alive, I think. Because I think ever since Wunjin Stars, they disbanded. They don't have a team house anymore, and things are going pretty bad for them. So, I think they really have to win. So I think their mindset is a lot more about solo tournaments now than it was before. So, well, my match against Revival, I think it all comes down to the first games. Uh, if I predict him correctly, then I think I can have an easy win. But if not, it's going to be very hard, I think. But it's not impossible, for sure. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to keep going or? Yeah. Oh. Keep talking. <laughs> uh, Everyone wants to know. Um, What's in I your have mind? I up my TVP a lot, so I think if I only have to play one Terran, like it seems to be doable here, I can beat them, Bomber or MMA. And then if I play SOS, I think I can the win that too. SOS is your favorite pro -less. He's my favorite, but I kind of know how he plays because I've seen every single game he played, like ever so I think in PvP especially where build orders are so important I think I can mind game him quite You know hard. that if you win BlizzCon Naniwa StarCraft 2 will be more popular in 2014 uh, If I win BlizzCon I will retire straight away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get Oh god That's wonderful That better not happen The entire phase of this game it's resting on your shoulders right now. Yes, I know, but then like I turn, I like open Reddit and I'm like, oh, I I win, but they still flame me. I'm like, hmm. Of course they flame you. They're not <laughs> yeah, but okay. Let let's just say I I did not play anymore then, and the, the, it was top two at I am New York. What would be the point for the foreign fans? 
That's right. So right. guys, we have to buck up together. Dude, no one, <laughs> no one, we, like, we no one likes your hair. Right no <laughs> what? You no one likes your hair. Bomb, like... uh, I don't know. I think Stalker would be fine without me, but right now it seems like I'm the only one doing well among the foreigners, so it would be kind of sad, I guess, but that thought crossed my mind. Man, I just killed, I'll kill somebody. Not anyone, just, uh, man, I just, I'll kill uh, EG. IG. Yeah, that is IG. doing really well. Yeah, IG. Yeah, but like a, tight, a team league. Who cares about that? Scarlet's not doing well. She didn't even make it to BlizzCon. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's the only measure. <laughs> Must be really bad, then. She didn't make it to BlizzCon? Oh, you're bad. No, <laughs> like, obviously, Man, I'll lose the survival. We're like, oh, he's not really that good, you know, 17th. Uh. Yeah. Well, Scarlet is obviously doing really well, but I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate. I wish there were more foreign players, like, trained really hardcore, but it doesn't seem to be the case. You know, maybe. I know Bunny plays a lot, but... <laughs> he wins a ladder, but that's about it. Yeah, Bunny, I don't know what's happening. Why Why don't you win in tournaments? Yeah, you're... You're really yeah. good on a ladder. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bunny. What's up with that? Yeah, Bunny. I don't know. I think I just don't play enough tournaments. Uh... I'm too so lazy. why do you practice if you don't play tournaments? That's why he's so fucking good, because he's not sitting around waiting for opponents that are going to cheese him. He's getting cheesed <laughs> right on the ladder directly. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Mm. I don't know. Oh, less, he always you my play day. More practice time, so. yeah. always Arcosis, my speak. why did you curse me? Curse you? Year of Rat? You told me Year of Rat 2014. Because you told me it was going to be the year of red, so I Yeah, but then you cursed me, so it's not going to be the year of red. <laughs> yeah, no problem. That sucks. You're fine. The curse doesn't actually exist. In fact, I'm going to name the top four of this tournament right now. It's going to be <laughs> Solky against Polt. And then it's going to be the winner of Dear Tasia against Innovation. Yes! And then the final is going to be yeah. Solky against... The winner of Dear Tasia. And it, I don't know who's going to win that, though. That's too hard. So basically... Uh, none of these guys are going to make top four. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All out first round. <laughs> now well, maybe that's what I'm revival, doing on purpose. Then. It's easy win against Soul Key. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting anything. But then, then he said Soul Key top four, so I guess I have a chance now. <laughs> I was going to own him. <laughs> you know what would be fantastic? You know, you said not that many foreigners are doing that well. If you won BlizzCon... Like the you straight up won, low. and then oh well, hold on! If you won, and then like you tweeted at Stefano, and you're like you were nothing compared to what I am right now. We might get him back into the game. Stefano just abused him, Fester and Brute Lord. Yes, I don't think Stefano was very good either. That's my opinion. Ooh, wow! Well, I he quit right when the game got balanced, and he started he started to lose. So I have a Facebook. What is there to say? I have a Facebook uh, conversation with Stefano where I was like, you were a genius, you invested Brutalite and Fester. And he was like, that was a $500,000 invention. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was Wings of Liberty. Brutalite and Fester, nothing else. <laughs> yes, those Stefano, were dark Stefano times. Stefano didn't cut it in Margaret Swarm, so he quit. That's the truth. Yeah. Wow. It is. There are some strong words against that guy right now. If he, wants this funny? Back, if he wants to come back and prove that he's like amazing, he's welcome to do so. But he just abused him, Fester Boulevard. Yeah, he even dodged our show match that we were supposed to play now for 5k. Ooh. It was supposed to be played like two months ago. But he just retired instead. Because he was tired of getting owned. Wow. It's hard There's being so a right now. It's fine, I couldn't handle it. Bunny, <laughs> talk some it. shit, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Stefano was uh, really, really good in Wings of Liberty. Oh. At making Brute Lords? I think he was. Oh, he good. was a really good player, I think. Um, but in Heart of the Swarm, he hasn't been playing so well. I don't know why. Uh, like, just maybe he lost his motivation after winning a lot. Maybe he didn't have the like desire to win as much. I don't know. I don't like talking trash about other players. <laughs> what a nice guy. Mm. What a class act. 
I love that Smurf cup, Brett. That was that was absolutely awesome. Yeah, I like the Smurf cup too. Oh, I hate the Smurfs though. Fuck. Why do you hate the Smurfs? You're like the best suck. thing. No, I no hate the you're awesome. You look like Gargamel. Well, what? Do you know him? I've seen the show, but it was a while ago. Maybe fifteen maybe years. Why, maybe that's why Artosis supports Gargamel because he looks like him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, all right. I think we we talked about BlizzCon enough. I definitely. This is something I've been really excited to talk with you guys about today. Here, let me paste you in our chat and everyone else. The a yeah, I was I was lagged from it. You guys hear me fine? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, let's talk about the ladder maps for next season, right? Because whirlwind has correct, to go. I am so freaking happy whirlwind is gone. <laughs> yes, that is that is nice. I'm I'm pretty happy about this overall. But let's just go over what it is and then talk about it real quick, okay? Removing from the map pool, and this is for WCS and the ladder. Removing Aklon Waste and Whirlwind. Thank God I'm so sick of those two maps. And then they're adding a new Star Station that's a two-player map. And they're adding something called Alterzeem Stronghold. It has like 20 expansions. Can... Yeah, it's a big map. And then uh, they're keeping all the other maps. So the final map pool will be the Alterzeem Stronghold, the modified version of Star Station, Belshire Vestige, Derelict Watcher, Frost, Polar Knight, and Yonsu. So, what do you guys think about that? What do you think about this map pool? Yonsu is a joke. Because these Yonsu are the maps. Nice. That, these are the only like maps you guys are going to play next year. I like Yonsu too. Yonsu, Yonsu is like a joke. It's actually Yonsu a good is map so bad Zurich. for Zurich. Uh, it's pretty balanced in CVP, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we should have. Uh... Listen, you can take a third base and wall it off with one with one gateway. Isn't that why this is supposed to be okay, or? Are and then people to like live go to base swarm host. That just shows how bad it is. And still he won, right? He won, but yeah. So the guy didn't make storm for twenty five minutes. He didn't. He played down. without storm. I don't know why. Better calm down. It made he me mad. Won. He still won. Deal with it. Sorry, <laughs> Simba. <laughs> um. So, so okay, <laughs> let me give you some actual. Talking points here. <laughs> Belshire Vestige is still in the map pool. What are our thoughts on this? It's a good map. Yeah, I love I'm sure, it. I'm sure Benny likes it. He likes burrowing Widow Mines on the on the ramp. <laughs> yeah, on the uh, low and high ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. Like you're getting your fort base pushed by by <laughs> And then there's Widow Mines like on the very on the very top of the ramp. And you go down the, the 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 low ground, and you just get everything blown up. It's a great but map, I, awesome map. I've had Love a it. lot of Zergs pick it against me in tournaments. Too. Like, yeah, but they're stupid, right? They just all lose. Wait, no, 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 because Bunny is only good on the ladder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow! <snap>. It's all <laughs> show match. Let's go. Sure. This. But do you guys actually like that map? Let's I go. See Bunny, that versus the, Bunny versus Vortex. Let's go. <laughs> Vortex. Keep, keep Rhett out of it. I'm just a caster. Look at my microphone. I'm a caster. <laughs> uh, that's true. Finally doing that transition. I'm doing um, that I don't play. I don't play show matches. I don't back up my words. I just cast games because my microphone's awesome. <laughs> that's, you wouldn't be the first. Um, Gotta get that microphone atosis. Caster money. Uh, uh, it's a much nicer one than what I have here. So, the maps. The maps. Is this going to be a real thing? Alter Sim Stronghold? Yes, that is an. A that is, you're going to play that map all year or next year. I, I want you to get in touch with that right now on the show. It seems to be a map where you have three, three bases. It looks is that like correct? that. Yeah. It's like yeah. the I think I can well, come to like this. This map sucks because there's 20 expansions and. Well, no, there's, there's the, the one on the low ground. That's not rocks. That's like a uh, high grass on the one side. So it's got like two big choke points to that. So it's not completely. Free. Yeah, it's oh, pretty free. so we have to wall on one side. Yeah, it looks like it. But that would be like a pretty big wall on the other side. Will either have grass or be right in front. Hey, right. hey, Naniwa. Yeah. Stefano just tweeted at you. He said you deserve to have a mouse in your butt. Uh, 
Good and people would use the plug as a leash to walk you like the dog you truly are. He just called you a dog. Okay. <laughs> but too bad he doesn't even play the game, so why should I care about his opinion? He's going to be a doctor. What if you get sick and like Stefano is going to be the guy that heals you? I'm never going to be in his dirty country, so no problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just, did you just... I mean, it's one thing to make fun of... Did you call France dirty? I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> I don't even know why you still follow that guy. He sucks the hot and he just tweets stupid stuff. He has but no he was really good at anything. investors. Yeah, that, that's all he did. So why should I take anything a guy like that says seriously? What about your match against uh, Prop... Uh, what's his name? Who? The Swedish guy? What's who made, guy? Who made Swarmos? Oh, but, uh, what's his name? Uh, Buffy, maybe? Buffy, yes. What about Buffy? <laughs> what about him? I don't know where you're going with this. Yos. What about him? Is he going to be the next big thing? Well, if someone like Stefano can win, I guess he can too, right? So. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Stefano should come back already. Yes, he was so good. So good. Still, even I beat him in wings 2 0. What a joke. What a joke. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, what about the maps? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I suppose. This is. We should this have is definitely like, have so I, My face is starting to hurt. Uh, I'm smiling so big because this is such a funny episode. I love it. Such good conversation. Um, what what about Derelict Watcher? What do you guys Horrible think about map. that map? I I agree as a Protoss player, I do not like this map. What about you guys, Rhett and Bunny? Well, for TVP it's great. For TVC, not so much. It's a muted map. Like there's uh, like macro games is pretty good for Cirque because it's a really open map and. Uh, there's kind of a long distance between uh, one player and the other. But, and also you can do, like even Roach Hydra is actually really good on this map because you can get the huge concave. Um, yeah, and like just Roach all-ins and stuff. There's a lot of really good strategies on this map for Cirque, I feel. But mm. for TBP it's uh, really good for Terran for the same reason that it's really open. Uh, yeah, And you can kind of get a really good engagement between the three bases. But yeah, I don't like it that much. I never liked the map design since it was released. I I, I like the map, but I still lose it to to Protoss two base. Like if they put, if they put down a third nexus, I really <laughs> like the map. It's like make mutas, and it'll be a, a really nice game. Mm. But if they don't put down the third nexus, I just lose. It's just ask anyone. Anyway. You just did it to me yesterday. Do you fall back on all ins there, Nano? For Derelict? Uh, I don't think you need to choose a specific map for all ins. You can do it on any map, but I think Derelict is pretty bad against Terran. Like, there is so much dead space where you can get dropped, and it's hard to stretch your entire army, like, through um, three bases on that map. So it's really hard to defend, and mm, it's the same as all other maps, like, you, you just have to survive and then you can, like, have a good chance, but it's extremely hard to survive on that map. Just get Storm and you win. <laughs> this fucking Zerg, man. <laughs> PvT look, like seriously, I'm Zerg. I have no bias against Terran or Protoss, but every PvT I watch, the Protoss just gets Storm, and like the Terran is attacking and dropping all the time, and in the end there's just Storm and Protoss wins. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I'm great serious. input, well, Yost, I mean, I, and now I'll PvP can be a little bit like, frustrating. Like, like, like the, the Terran will snipe every single Templar except one or two, and then there's two Storms and bam. Protoss wins. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> that's I'm how sorry, it looks. I'm sorry to you, man. That's how it looks like to me. I'm I'm sorry. Like that's just to me how it looks it like is. I have like fifteen high templars. Like I storm once. Uh, like fifteen high templars. He, he heals up. Get sniped. Three storms. Bam. Protoss wins. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yos. That's true. And then and then one ghost comes in the front, puts one EMP on your army, and you lose. Oh. <laughs> just um. Case closed. Not if you're dear, though. 
Yes. I don't know. One person is winning. It's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jos, for that clarification. Now, GFC let's go on to Derek the Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the maps. <laughs> Fucking Jos is flaming too much in this show. Please <laughs> calm down. Yeah, it's all me, right? It's not you. <laughs> so provocative. Uh, I think in PvC it's it's okay, but it's still a bit better for Surge because the area is so large around your third base. So like, if they come there with Roach Hydra, you can't really force fill it all away. So it's hard to defend. I think it's hard when when you don't have force fields. Like my whole race doesn't have force fields. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> no Zerg unit has force fields? Like, why don't I have force fields? Like, I wish I could what defend force fields. Like, I know. Like, just like, warp, like, my units can't move. Like, just you have zero fungal like with damage, damage, man. Damage. Yeah. Fungal, dude. What you do is you just narrow uh, his probe and you build sentries yourself. Build the Nexus. Neural, neural sentry might be good if it has full energy. I mean, like, you take the probe and then you build the Nexus. And you build gateways, sentries. I guess nobody does that anymore. It's the only only thing you really can steal to do that. SCV, you have to neural like seven times in a row to build a command center. It's a lot of mana for a fucking Terran command center. Um, okay, so Derelict Watcher, you guys are the ones that have to play on it next year. Yay or nay? Should they have kept it or should they have thrown it? Because it's kept, it's too late, but let's let's check it out. Bunny, yay or nay? Uh, I think it's gonna have to be nay. Yeah. Right. Who? What? 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 Yay or nay on Derelict? Should they have kept it or should they have thrown it? They should have kept it. Throw I like it. it. It's a good tank map. See? Okay. It's Imba. So I'm taking that as a nay from you, Nanoa. It is indeed a nay. Okay. They should keep Yonsu though. Awesome. They should map. keep Yonsu. Yeah, I, I, Yonsu I agree with you. Sick it. map. Yep. <laughs> Funny as well. Yeah, I think uh, Youngster is really good for Terran. Oh, okay. <laughs> worst Zerg map ever. Very balanced. It's well, like worse than basins. like Jungle Basin. Is it really? Uh, I don't worse than it. Steps of War. <laughs> it's kind it's of like, almost well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're actually like disrespecting the dead right now. This is actually, you just pissed on a grave. It is not worse than Steps of War. It is not worse than Jungle Basin. There's no way. It's like the same as Jungle Basin. It's not worse than Steps of Mars. Steps of Mars is the worst map in history for Zurich. This it's worse is than uh, Jungle Basin, in my opinion. You think it's it's, it's worse than Jungle Basin? Like, Terran oh. can wall off the dirt base with two buildings. One gateway, one pylon. They kill the rocks. You can't... Ex oh. act <laughs> it's mortosis. Aren't we supposed to like, discuss The chokes things? are so <laughs> tiny. The chokes are so tiny. They're whining all the time. <laughs> the forces are amazing. Two base elements are amazing on Yonsu. And then third base are defended by two buildings. Oh, I hate this map. Christ. I vetoed this map forever. Good for you. Good, good for you, Yos. Screw this map. Now let's let's move on. It's only play on four player maps. A big four player maps. Four player maps are bad too. <laughs> what is that? what is four that? player maps are bad. Two, <laughs> two player maps no, are no, good. Red, red. Four player maps just create unused large areas of the map that are totally unused in ninety five percent of the games. Okay, yo, so the, it, it's like this. The maps are good, unless the protocol goes for a two-base all-in, correct? Because <laughs> then the maps are fine. Mm. But if they all-in, then we have a problem. Yeah, if they make a third nexus every map. So maybe like... you, you should just scout, and the maps will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> if they, if so... you make a third nexus every map, every map is okay. See? Fucking greedy, sir. Learn I... to scout. So I think Yansu is a nay for Rhett, if I can read this situation correctly. Uh, no, he's just kidding. He means that you, it's fine. It's fine. You think it's fine, Nanoa? It's a good map? I, I, I think it's fine. And Bunny it could be a bit think better in Terra, but I, I think they should remove the rock, and then we have a good map. Okay. All right, so Yansu overall favorable, and Derelict overall that was not favorable, I believe. How about how about the new star station? We never played it. Bring on the blink aliens. Did you see the the picture of it? It's, it's someone did an actual. Can you link the picture? Yeah. 
Uh, Here, let me let me grab the GIF real quick. It's so basically, it's just like the regular star station, but with cross only. Kind yeah, of. It doesn't it, have but they, the bases. Like, yeah, it doesn't have four mains. Um, if it doesn't have high ground on the third base, I agree with it. Someone made a GIF of this. Where is it? Hold on. It's exactly the same. Except oh, for the uh, four player. It pretty much. There's yeah. if you just click on that, someone like actually just paired them up. Post in the chat as well. Yeah. So it's like really, really close to the same. So how do we like this one? I always like Star Station. It's kind of hard to defend your third as well. Mm. So. Guess we won't be dropping any third bases, Yos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a very good all in map, like the third is so open and blink all in. Seriously, like, like people might think I'm talking shit, but if you watch BlizzCon in one week, the you Protoss that drops shit. the <laughs> Protoss that drops the third base will lose and the Protoss that doesn't won't. Okay. I will now make I will make bets on this. I will take bets on this. If the Protoss again, if the Protoss plays against Zerg and they drop the third base, they will lose the game. If they don't, they will win the game. Taking five hundred dollars bets on this. Whoever wants to bet, tweet at me. Whoa, Not very high level okay. analysis going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bunny, what what were you gonna say, Bunny? Well, about the map, I'd, I just said it's very good for all ins because the third is so open. Uh, Search can do some really good free base all ins, and also blink all in is really popular on this map. Like 80% of games, just blink all in. Yeah, blink all in is okay. <laughs> it's okay. It can work sometimes. <laughs> it's not good. It's decent. I wouldn't say it's good. It can definitely work sometimes. I love how different everyone's opinions are on these. You guys are very. Polarized in your I views. don't know. I, I don't think Blinkerlin is as good as people like keep saying. Like, if you know it's coming, you win like straight away, and even if you don't, you have a pretty good chance of defending. Actually, every Terran I, does complain about Blinkerlins a lot. I am. How do you win straight away? Like, even sometimes you just like sit on one base and make bunkers just make, and like, protest just bunkers. create a nexus. Like, just ask Torzain. <laughs> but he's horrible. Like, if you like, go uh, tanks, just make some bunkers and then you win. When Steam what? is done, it's over. No, no, I don't even know. It's okay, Bunny. Admit it. <laughs> this is what happens when like every. It's because you're doing like the. Show. It's because you're doing the really weird build where you get like the Nexus first and then go some Blink Stalkers after. Like, I can't you did help that it. To I'm me. like an economical you, player. I can't help it. You did it to me yesterday. I was just like. What is oh this? really? So now I know your barcode. Oh. Everyone knows everyone's barcode. <laughs> Really? I don't know yours. Uh, yeah, I don't never. I almost never play my barcode. What? What does that That's, even mean? Do you I'm play on account Liquid Red or something? No, I'm I'm playing on Liquid Red. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you never play Starcraft. I have we nothing to hide. To stream. I have to stream. That's right. <laughs> I don't have results, so I have to stream to manage my popularity. Huh? Like that, that's a step before becoming a caster. Oh, I thought we were going to say b b before becoming a champion, but I guess that works too. Well, I don't know about becoming a champion. We'll see next year. <laughs> year of Red. I missed my chance with Wings of Liberty. No, you won some tournaments in Wings. Be gr I great, did. grateful, dude. I did. Like, you one, won time a lot I beat, of one time I beat Naniwa in, yeah. in a tournament fight. See? And now we can all laugh about it because it would never happen in HOTS. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, Red. It's okay. Let's see what happens next year. Okay. Let's You're see. Right. You're Red, according to Ertosis. Yes. Having lots of faith. Oh, like the year of Ertosis. <laughs> I call this the like, game of Red, if you remember in StarCraft 1. I'm like, Red's going to fucking kill StarCraft 2. <laughs> Standing by. I'm going to stand by it till it's true. Um, <laughs> all right. Alterzeem Stronghold. Let's talk about this map a little bit more in depth. All we mentioned was really the the easy behind you base and the uh, the fact that there's like the grassing. It is a huge map with a ton of bases on it. Could this like make like different styles of play a little bit 
more prevalent? You know, like, uh, could there be more expansions or something? Like, uh, do you guys think that this map is actually going to... Basically, what I'm trying to ask, is this going to make the map pool more interesting? Because it's definitely a lot bigger and different, and it's not big and different like Whirlwind. It's definitely a refreshing take on a big four-player map. Uh, it's hard to judge how big the map is just by this picture, so... It's really hard to like give my honest opinion about all the things, so... Um, if it is as big as Whirlwind, then I don't re really like it. It seems pretty hard to defend a third base on this map as well. Like, if you said that it's two chokes with the grass, and Sergre gets four bases, like, almost for free, I feel. That's just what I think is going to be going on. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying with that. Does it, is it like Eye of the Storm, where you have an expansion like behind your main? Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like that. It. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, you definitely, that is completely behind. I don't see any way to go up there. So How big is the like ramp? A, to the the ramp looks... Mm, it's lo it looks pretty small, right? The ramp it to the main like looks one like force one force field. field. That's, then it's a good map. It's a good map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like this map. It's, it's kind of hard to judge when you haven't played on it. Yeah, exactly. Like any okay. map that has like the uh, backdoor expansion or whatever we should call it. Like Jungle Basin. Yeah. It mm. might be good, but it seems it's going to be a fast expansion every single game, and then into something else, all in or greedy play, I guess. Yeah. I don't think it's good. I think maps like uh, Belshir are pretty good. Maybe we'll see the return of the Jack G new steel bunker frame contain from high. Oh, god. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, that was fun to watch. Uh, I think he only did it like one time. I'm surprised you remember that game. Uh, <laughs> well, someone finally got the upgrade. Like it doesn't happen. Ah, uh, I was like, oh my god! Oh, it looks different too. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so are like we happy? From the single player. Uh, are are we happy or sad that Altrazim is a new map here? Without having played it, of course, but just your first <laughs> take on it. Happy or sad? Happy. I miss Daybreak. So now I you don't have to leave Daybreak. my base. I miss I Daybreak. The Zerg player misses Daybreak? No way. Really? I miss Daybreak, really. Like, Daybreak to me is like the map everybody played when Starcraft was a shit. <laughs> what? Maybe that's... Maybe that's why it declined popularity a bit. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> patch <-serg. laughs> No, Daybreak was awesome. Daybreak made for some boring games. Like this was the games. worst map ever. Do you really think people, like the audience, misses Daybreak or doesn't miss Daybreak? Does not miss Daybreak. I hope. If they miss Daybreak, Daybreak I think Daybreak made for awesome games. For a little bit until people actually figured out Brutal and Fester all the way, and then it be made for the worst games ever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone agrees. Brutal and Fester so. made for the worst games ever. Even TVP was like split map oftentimes on mm. Daybreak. Really boring. Antigua Shipyard. Now that's a map we don't want back, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god Antigua's yeah. gone. Such garbage map. So wait, wait, Bunny, are you happy or sad that Ultra Zim is in the map pool? Mm. One way or another, we're getting through these fucking map guys. <laughs> maps, guys. This is happening. I guess it's okay because like it's very different from anything that's in the map pool right now. I kind of dislike four-player maps because it can be very random at times. But I guess yeah, it's okay. especially with Zerg, triple hatch bib for pool. <laughs> hey, watch Cat Stream. It's like it's four not, not okay. That's really? True. He does do that. He always has to be so extreme. One step he further. He takes it one step further yeah, than exactly. else. Yeah, yeah. That is that actually just... Good, like, economically. You nailed cats right there. No, it's obviously I actually, worse. I hit but him on the ladder, care. and I knew he was going to do it. And I fucking went for four gates after the Nexus with the gateway expand, and he still fucking held it. How ridiculous. Fucking Zerg, man. I'm bad, too, but I mean, still. Come on. But still, man. Cats. You know that cat is GM on Korea? Yeah. Uh, anything is possible with Zerg. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, it's like 800 games on Korean server. So, so uh, I, I don't think we talked about Polar Knight yet. Polar this Knight. Good what map. a horrible map. Good what map. Terrible map. The worst map. map. Protoss can't do <laughs> third base. Protoss can't do worst. shit on that map, man. Even See? rain all ins on that map. Like, <laughs> That's Does that up. mean you're they supposed to dislike it if Protoss doesn't take a third? No, it's it's okay because they tried to take us for base anyways. <laughs> How is that okay? I like that map. It's good. It's you like Polar Knight? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so weird to play TVT on that map because like the distances between the two third bases are so close. Like you just walk for ten seconds each up. You're at the opponent's third base, mm -hmm. and the two towers in the middle. Like it's really awkward to play. It's kind of a fun map, I guess. I don't dislike it that much. And Rhett, you like it? Yeah, I like that map because, like, I don't know, it's it's got a wide open third base and lots of opportunity to attack. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I like attacking on that map. It's great. Oh, I, I only love it. Only you have 70 drones, right? Yeah, no, no, 65 drones are just attack, attack, attack. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. <laughs> 65. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were being greedy. That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. 65. I'm not greedy. I don't like to make drums that much. No, no you? Never. Um, no. <laughs> okay, I think that brings us to our last one, which is Frost. I don't believe we talked about Frost. Horrible map. Horrible map. <laughs> Good Can't map for take a third base. Can't take a third. Good map for Mutas. See? Mutas. Broken on every map, especially <laughs> Frost. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull up the the screen here so I can watch what maps are available. Okay, some good maps, guys. Whew, there's not many good maps. Yonsu, right? Yonsu is good. Yeah, though. Yonsu, Yonsu. The best map. Akilon, <laughs> I, I think Akilon is quite okay too. Akilon is nice. Yeah, I'm sad. You I see four bases for Turn and Pronos. No, Belshir <laughs> is okay too, but uh, Polar Knight, I don't think it's very good for Protoss. Mm. It's too hard to take a third base, we have to make like a Void Race or stuff, it's the only way. Okay. It's okay with Void Race, but you can't make Void Race every single game anymore, because now Zergs make Queens, and that's not very fun. It's not very fun at all. It's nice the in TVC when Cirque tries to play macro games because it takes like 10 seconds to walk to the fourth base. Mm. <laughs> it's like Imba for Terran or. Mm. Yeah, it's really good saying. for Terran. Like, you just rally to the fourth base and it's like 10 seconds away. But if they do some road troll in on that third base because it's really open, then it sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, we we hit on all the maps. Very interesting opinions from everyone. Very race specific. Uh, overall, is this oh, a bias. decent map pool? Is this? I want to hear from each player. This map pool is this going to negatively or positively affect your results next year? Your thought on that right now? Rhett, you first. I think you have the most to say. Uh, as long as I can veto Yonsu, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so with one veto, you think you're, the map pool is just fine? Yeah, if I can veto Yonsu, it's okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm kind of sad Akilan is gone, because I thought that map was really good for Terran. And it was like, every time you played a Zerg, they kind of had to veto Akilan and Yonsu, so they couldn't like... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It depends a lot on how good Elsa Seems Stronghold is. Like, it's hard to say what I'm playing on it. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy Whirlwind is gone though. Whirlwind versus Zerg, that was not fun. You does. <laughs> so would you say overall positive or negative on this one, Bunny? Mm, it's about the same as before, I think. Kinda, mm, I guess it's positive. I'm glad that Whirlwind is gone, that's the best thing. Okay. I've been playing on that map forever. Ah, uh, that's far too old. And that leaves us with you, Nanoa. Positive okay, or negative? Okay. I'm gonna have to go with a negative here. 
Negative. Even though I was gonna win, Bill's gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do think that Frost is. Uh, if you made it like two player map only, I think it could be good. But four player maps, just like Red said, it brings a lot of randomness into it, I feel. Like every building PvP is like decided, you know, like. Uh, Oh, he won't scout me at the first try, so I'll just like drop a Stargate with no units. Or like a Twilight and stuff like this. And I don't think that's very good for the game. And uh, Whirlwind, the same thing there for me. Well, no. Even if Whirlwind was cross, I would still not play it. Because it's way too big. Mm. Like, it just feels like Sir can get like five base straight away. And then, then it just gets out of control. The third base is quite hard to defend as well. So it's. I don't think the maps are like really bad for Protoss, but they're not very favorable. Uh, favorable either. I think it, all, all in all, it's like it's okay, but not great. Okay. And I think everyone kind asked, of. Yeah. Everyone kind of says that. So that actually, that's the one thing you guys have all kind of agreed on that the map pool's okay. So. But the thing is, like, yeah. there are some maps that are like way too good for some races, and then some uh, that that are like way too bad. Mm. Like Red says, like Yonsu is like too bad for Zerg, and then it's like uh, Polar Knight is like too bad for Protoss, stuff like this. So if they yeah. would have like made some small changes, I think it could be a lot better. It's always going to be like that, though. Like I feel like just some maps are good for some races and some aren't. Yeah, I think it's interesting to have maps that are like better for other races than that. As long as it's like, not too broken, like... If all maps were completely balanced. Until shipyard or whatever, then it's okay, I guess. Right. But the derelict well, watcher has to go. <laughs> well, I think we have it for another year. Are they going to switch it between seasons, you think? Or are we just keeping this for the whole year? Do I actually yep, have to break for like two years. Yeah, it's true. Belshir yeah. and Derelict are getting a bit old for me. I'm getting a bit bored of them. I don't know, I think the map, the map pool is quite good compared to where it was like in the beginning of Source Talker 2. <laughs> so, <laughs> it could have been worse, guys. No, I miss Kulas Ravine. That was a great map. Mm -hmm. um, Kulas right. Ravine, which one was great that? Great map. Jungle Basin, those were the good, good old days. <laughs> I didn't oh, yeah. even play back then, but I've heard the stories. The horror Jungle stories. Jungle Basin was a real class act. <laughs> Nexus first, and then what? Maybe one more Nexus? <laughs> we didn't even have Photon overcharge by then. Didn't it still worked. It. <laughs> now that's a good map. Jungle Basin? Yes. Have you ever seen a TVZ there? No, but I have seen a PVC. And it was great. Heard <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that map. Alright. Well, we kind of we kind of hit on everything I had. Anything you guys want to talk about before we wrap this up? Mm -hmm. Anything at all pops in your mind that you're like, well, I just need to talk about this while I'm on meta before we go. Go on, Rhett. You have your chance. I just can't wait for BlizzCon. Uh, Why are you so BM? Really... No, you I want just... me, me to lose? No, I just really want you to win. You liar. I can no, see I really, it. I really, really do. You're like the only, the only white guy. Come on, I'm supporting you all the way. You only see the color of my skin, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> no really, really, I'm, I'm rooting for you. I'm gonna help you practice, and I'm excited. I don't know that. I know that. I know how this is going to end. We're going to all go off this show, and then you're like, well, I have to go gym, guys. <laughs> he, he promised. He promised that when he's off this, he's going to practice with you. Don't you lie yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. No, 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 I'm going to practice with him. I'm serious. Okay, Red. I'll pretend to believe it. It's gonna happen. Um, and you, Bunny, right. well, where can we follow you? Yeah, let's... At Bunny. Well, I didn't think it was time for the shout-outs just yet. No. It, it actually I... was becoming time. Man, well, you should come on and be a host more often, man. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm too lazy. It's it's tough to to push the the subjects around and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would get like stream hours for doing this show. Mr. Garfield doesn't feel that way. He doesn't. I'm sorry to hear that. I wish no. he did. 
So I'm behind like a hundred hours on my streaming. Oh Jesus. That's never gonna get that EG money. <laughs> that alliance money. Hey. Alliance um, of course. Thing. Speaking no. of which, it is time for the shout outs. Why don't you give your shout outs, Nanoa, while you're on that subject? Uh yeah, who do I want to thank? That, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be thanks. It can be it's whatever you want. Thanks to Deer for knocking yeah. out the people who could make me not go to BlizzCon. <laughs> <laughs> did very well there. Uh, uh, thanks to SOS for giving out all his build orders. Or rather, I stole them. And thanks to you for having me on the show. That's about it. Oh well, thanks to Rhett for practicing with me tomorrow and today. <laughs> <laughs> Rhett, your shout outs. Uh, and Team Liquid, of course. Razor, the little app factory, Twitch, Shiny Things, Barracuda. That's it. All right. And Bunny. Yeah. My uh, team, Copenhagen Wolves, and the sponsor, Steel Series, Adidas, and uh, Complete. And I'd like to go uh, just like Naniwa here and thank Maro for inspiring me a lot with his like Marine King play. Now that Marine King has retired, there's the new Tyron who is willing to go YOLO mode. And it's really fun to watch. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. And good luck, uh, Naniwa, at BlizzCon. Thank you, Bunny. Good luck, Those man. words mean a lot. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but you never play with me. Never. No, well, maybe if I didn't get messages like a no, garbage player. No, let's or... not, uh, let's not. <laughs> nit, nit, <laughs> let's give this professional on the show. <laughs> yeah, you're nice enough when you win, but when you lose, it's not the same. But that's not news. No. I'm a very bad loser, it's true. This I cannot deny. But I only mean well. <laughs> I don't mean well. <laughs> do, do you actually only mean well? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I he doesn't. didn't think so. I thought that. <laughs> like, oh, I do I need, to, I I do need to calm the fuck down, though. Yeah. I do get too angry sometimes when I lose. Too much uh, pride. We've all been there. Except for you. Um, you I was I'll there before. Of that next time if you write anything. Oh. Uh -huh. This, this has been a fantastic episode. Thank you very much to all three of you. This has really been a pleasure for me. My face is actually sore from how much I've smiled here. Uh, it's been great. Thank you, for everyone, for watching. And Simpatico, of course, that does all the production here at Meta. Uh, there won't be an episode next week because I'm traveling to BlizzCon. So sorry about that. Uh, and my sponsor is TT Sports High by Power. So thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you all later.